All right, folks, we are back for the next mission. We are to Jello Alert Level Zero. I can just see them and Ty Young all gathered around their TV screens watching Eliza Spies coverage and laughing at us. We are going to go up and see the boss. Where is the boss? There's his elevator. So I'll see you up top. How come I suspect my boss is the bad guy that's in charge of all this and I'm going to have to kill him? That's what I'm expecting. Sheriff? David's just stepped out for a moment, Mr. Jensen. But do come in. I've been hoping to meet you. Mr. Darrow. I'm surprised you even know who I am. David speaks very highly of you. He says that when it comes to detective work, you are like a dog with a bone. Have you found your scientist yet? What else did David tell you? Over the years, plenty. But today I'm here as a friend and fellow scientist. Things are getting quite turbulent out there, wouldn't you agree? So many people drunk on revolution. The United Nations being urged to intervene. And all because of the technology I created. Things have come a long way since then. Haven't they? And now my old friend David wants me to lead us to the Promised Land. He's asked me to invite members of the UN to Panchea, to convince them we don't need industry regulation. Your geoengineering project in the Arctic Ocean. The installation couldn't have been built without the assistance of augmented workers. And when it's finished, my little hole in the ocean is going to stop global warming. A lovely photo op, wouldn't you say? If it works. You mean, if it doesn't kill us all? Adam? You're back! Uh, can I speak to you outside? Get to the helipad, son. You're going back to Hengsha Island. Frank tracked down one of the GPLs. Only one? Is it? Sevchenko's. But Adam, we had to call in a favor of the DOD to do it. Meaning, the conspirators probably know I'm coming. Oh, we're gonna kick some ass, guys. Hey! Hey, bodyguard! You're Adam Jensen, right? The security chief here? Your men did a good job securing this building when the riot broke out. Well, thank you! I'm kind of surprised. All right. We are going to need to head downstairs. So why don't we go on down? I'll see you guys at the at, at Malik's plane. All right, here we go, guys. Uh, and there's the cutie, Malik herself. Boss said we're heading back to Hangshaw. Pritchard tracks up Chenko's GPL signal. If he's alive, there's a chance the rest of them are too. That's a pretty big leap, Jensen. We've been making big leaps for a while now. Whatever you say. You ready to get going? Always. Let's do this. No time like the present. Let's get going. Then hop in. Bad news, spy boy. Spy boy? Hengshaw traffic control just revoked our clearance. We're being rerouted to another part of the city. I don't like that. I suppose you can't just ignore them. <laughs> yeah, right. Chinese government. I've got to comply. Bravo Echo Echo 008. Proceeding to designated coordinates. What the hell? We've got a Sam locked on our tail. All systems are down. Hang on, we're going in hard. Jump, Jensen. Malik, we've got company. I know, but the bird took some damage. Gonna need to patch it up before I can go. I'll stay and cover you. Negative. You need to get away from here and find Dr. Savchenko. I'll be fine. You'll be a sitting duck. Maybe, maybe not. But this is your best chance to slip by them unnoticed, and you know it. So get out of here, Jensen. Okay, we'll actually do that, guys. I hate leaving her behind, guys. It makes me sad. Hey, Jensen. Malik. 
Malik, you're hurt. <laughs> Just a scratch, a spy boy. But I think... Ah, 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 I think you're on your own now. Farida. Give him hell for me. Jensen, I've been monitoring calm activity around Hengsha. Bell Tower's looking for you. Hard. Bastards ambushed us, Pritchard. Malik didn't make it. Oh, God. I... I know you might want to get even, but if they see you, if they recognize you, it might be better to stay out of their way. Okay, um, we're gonna try that, I think. Ah, shit. Yes, let's go. Oh, shit, this is bad. Bad, guys. Okay, we're gonna get going. Go? I'm really not gonna fight with Jensen? anybody. Jensen, the World Health Organization is advising all augmented patients to check in with Lim. There's a problem with biochip technology. The glitches I've been experiencing. We've all had them. So far, I can't determine why. You heading to a clinic? I'm running a few more tests. But since I can't exactly run them on you, and we don't know when you'll be back, you might not want to wait. Up to you. Hey, hey, I know you. You're the one Bell Tower is looking for. I seen your picture. You got the wrong guy. What's it worth to you for me to think so? Be a simple thing for me to yell out. Maybe a few credits to keep my mouth shut, huh? Uh, let's... Ah, shit, give him the money. Here, take it. You're lucky I need to keep a low profile. Otherwise, I may have found a different way to keep you quiet. I still might. Big words. Might even have meant something if you hadn't paid me first. Make Warren. Okay, we're creeping the back alleys. Let's see if we can get to the Yazao. Yazao? Yazao district, I think. Mr. Jensen, Hugh Darrow here. Please forgive this intrusion, but David assured me of your cooperation and discretion. I find myself in need of some assistance. I'm listening. A contact of mine, Meng Yao, is in Hengsha, waiting to fill you in. I'll upload her coordinates now. Okay, let's do Darrow's thing. Um, thinking, let's try this way. Let's try this way. He was polite. I'll let him live tonight. Or until he gets in my way. But we're going to crawl on top of the roofs and go across that. Ooh, hey. It's all in the same, like, 100 square feet area. Maybe it's better to say 100 square foot, 100 square yard area. Hey, you! Mr. Jensen? Mr. Jensen, right? Thank you for your time. I am Meng Yao, an associate of Mr. Darrow's. I'm in charge of one of his divisions here in Hengsha. You come highly recommended. Really? Your boss described you as a most precious asset. Apparently, you are very efficient and always get the job done. We could definitely use a man like you for this operation. Let's hope his confidence is well placed then. Oh, I'm sure it is. Mr. Darrow doesn't trust just anyone. We need you to help us stop a group of terrorists who are threatening the Panchea project. It is not an easy task. Are you sure you are up to it? Okay, I'll help out. Excellent. Here's the situation. It has come to our attention that these terrorists possess highly classified proprietary information about Panchea. We've been able to convince them to sell it to one of our agents, a man named Lo Fei. The meeting is supposed to take place near the Alice Garden Pods in the Daigong district. And you want me to crash this meeting? Actually, there will not be a meeting. We are sending you alone to ensure Mr. Fei's safety. The terrorists will not be expecting that, and will have the information with them on a data chip. You have to neutralize all of the sellers and retrieve the chip so you can bring it to me. I don't get it. If Faye set up the meeting, why risk sending me in his stead? Why doesn't he or even some of your other agents drop in on the sellers and take the chip? Because Mr. Darrow wants an absolute guarantee that there will be no casualties. We will not play by their rules. We want them arrested and questioned, then properly prosecuted and sentenced. This will require stealth and efficiency. 
That's why a man with your particular skills will be indispensable. Anything else I need to know? The sellers are expecting Mr. Fei and Mr. Fei alone. If they spot you, they will shoot on sight. Need I point out this might make your job a lot harder? Story of my life. All right, I'm not too sure about this, guys. I think this is going to be crappy. I don't want to do a peaceful thing. I don't have anything for peaceful either, so I'm going to have to knock them out. What is that? Um. All right, so I guess we're going to go in here. We're going to pick out a weapon to drop. Okay, guys, there's a ton of them we have to take out. So we're going to have to do this slowly. Shit. Is someone there? It ends now. Damn it, still no, like, I was hoping they would have some sort of, um, like, easy taser on them. Okay, we're gonna sneak up. We're stealthing it, guys. Not the place for you. Get out, my way. Okay. Shit, here we go, guys. Keep running, La Wai. Hello? Who's there? It ends now. Oh god! Oh god! Keep running, La Wai. Okay, we're just going to wait for these to power back up and then we're going to stealth over there and knock them out again. The quick time actions are pretty good. I like those. Here we go. Ha <laughs> ha, loser. Oh, wait, wait. Did I get them all? Um... What happened to him? Oh no, not a glitch! Not a glitch! Oh, there we go, we got it. Oh, okay. I thought there was a glitch for a moment. I was gonna cry. There was gonna be some tears. We did it! Now let's go back, meet up with the pretty lady, and see what we can do. I'll see you guys there. Ooh. I'm thinking that might be bad if I leave you in the water. All right, I'll see you guys back. All right, I think this is where we're going, guys. Here we go. We're coming up to her. We're going to say hi. You must get that chip back, Mr. Jensen. I got the chip. The sellers are out cold. Excellent work. Seems Mr. Darrow was right to trust you. We will send people to take care of the terrorists. Could I see the chip? How about you tell me what's on it first? Blackmail, Mr. Jensen? Don't waste your time. I won't tell you anything. Besides, there are stones better left unturned. Might as well just give me the chip and leave it at that. Okay, okay. All right, take it. Trust me, it's better like this anyway. You've done a great job. I thank you on Mr. Darrow's behalf. Even though this was a favor for Mr. Darrow, he believes you should be duly rewarded. Here is a payment in credits. I'm sure Mr. Darrow will wish to congratulate you himself. Expect to hear from him soon. Thank you, sweetie. All right. Let us upgrade. I think I want to upgrade. Um, we have buy. Oh, shit. Yeah, we need to upgrade. All right. What does the eye do? See through walls. Ooh. Ooh, that might be good. Um, let's see. We got fall from any height without fear of injury. I kind of like that. I kind of like that too. So let's see. We have protect dermal armor. Clo oh no, cloaking system. No, no use for that. Okay, we got sprint head spit. We're gonna walk silently. Jump. Hmm. I'm thinking. You know what? I kind of like this. Let's get it. And then we're going to get 
The fall from any height. I like that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ooh, toxin. Hmm. Yeah, we, I think we need this, just in case, guys. There we go. And then we'll get the fall from any height next time. I'm short one. We'll get it next time. Okay, I'll wrap this one up, folks. We're going to go on to regular mission next LP. I'll see you then.